Hey guys, Ronan here. So for you guys out there ever wondering why in the world are insurance premiums so high for truck drivers? I mean, what's with it? Literally, our insurance premiums have doubled in the last five years. So I'm just gonna take a few minutes to talk about what's going on, why is the rise in the insurance, just to give you an understanding of what's happening in our industry. So let's keep in mind that insurance is a big business, okay? It's all about numbers and it's all about money coming in versus money coming out. These insurance companies need to be profitable at the end of the day. That's why we're gonna get into my first point. We're gonna talk about flyby companies. So these are companies that usually open up as a fleet. They have four, five, six, seven units. They get into an accident or they have an insurance claim, whether it's a cargo claim, whether it's a, an accident. These companies usually cannot withstand the hit of a 150, 200% increase and they close their company. Well, if we're all inside the exact same umbrella, then you guessed it correctly that our insurance rates are going up because of these flyby companies. So again, you know, they get into an accident comes their renewal the renewal instead of being fifteen thousand dollars a truck goes up to about fifty or forty five thousand dollars a truck well they're not paying these premiums so they just leave the industry but that leaves the insurance company at a deficit so where do they get the excess from you guessed it right the rest of us now let's talk about payouts in the last 10 years so over the last 10 years when a driver would get into an accident or a jackknife or you know a multi multi-car collision with no deaths in it right so before the payouts for these companies for these insurance companies companies were a lot less than the payouts today. So payouts today are literally in the millions and tens of millions. So I remember before, you know, normal insurance used to be $1 million when we started out in 2005. Today, normal insurance coverage is you're looking at at least between five to $10 million is what you need to carry as a carrier. Well, carrying that kind of insurance as a carrier, obviously you guessed it right that the insurance premiums would go up. So now let's talk about these fleets that are growing at an abnormal pace. Okay, so here you have a company with 50 trucks and then all of a sudden within the next year they have 75 trucks well that's a 50 percent increase and then somehow within three or four years they have become a fleet of 200 250 trucks well these kind of companies they are more looking towards growth so when you are looking towards growth you're kind of neglecting safety and when you neglect safety then your premiums start rising and they start climbing up real fast so yes you're not going to be denied of your insurance because here in Canada we have something called facility so it doesn't matter matter how bad you are it doesn't matter how many accidents you've gotten and it doesn't matter how many people you've killed facility will insure your trucking company so fleets are growing at an abnormal pace but in 2022 all fleets have halted their growth because nobody can get their hands on trucks so before when we used to order 20 or 30 trucks per year well this year in 2022 you're lucky if you're getting half your order so somebody like us who ordered 20 units we're only getting 10 units somebody who ordered 100 units are only getting 50 units so so they've literally cut everybody's truck count. They've cut it by half the new trucks purchases. They've cut it down by half. And now let's talk a little bit about our foreign driver program. So this is something that really needs to get cleaned up. So any trucking company here in Canada is able to request an LMIA, which basically you are demonstrating to the government that there's a shortage of drivers here in Canada and they will allow you to bring foreign truck drivers. Well, there's a lot of scam that's happening within these LMIA. So why is our insurance premium so high? So people are kind of fraudulently misleading their files. So you get some guys from a third world countries or any other country, you know, when we bring them in here, they are pretending to be truck drivers because there's a loophole to our immigration with these truck drivers. So I put an ad, now all of a sudden they get five or six candidates. They have the reference letters. They have, literally they have you, you pay stubs. Their, their whole file is about, they have their driver's license in their country. They have their driver's license as a truck driver. and then when they get here it's like oh my god this guy has never sat in a truck before well now it's a little bit too late because you've already processed all the paperwork spend about ten thousand dollars to bring this new driver over here and then you realize that the guy does not have the minimum requirement to drive a truck so here he spends time on getting his driver's license and he'll come to you and then you're supposed to put him in a truck well, companies like ours, we would not put that driver in the truck. Now, there's a lot of companies out there that when they have seven or eight trucks that are standing in their lot without drivers, then they start making the exceptions on how to put these drivers into these trucks. Well, then that causes accidents on our highways. And when that happens, then we all know who's paying the difference in premiums. Okay, now anybody can apply for this LMIA program. There's been so much fraud and so much articles written about these LMIA programs and bringing foreign drivers here. I mean, I've 
I've had a couple of drivers that literally, they had their driver's license, but they do not know how to drive a truck. But their reference letters, their payroll statements all say that they used to work for trucking companies back home. Well, there's a lot of social media channels out there that will teach foreign drivers on how to properly put their profile together to meet the needs of the Canadian government as truck drivers, okay? So yes, this is a loophole. Yes, it needs to be tightened down. And yes, this is a huge reason of why we are all suffering from paying outrageous insurance rates. So here's another one. As we all know, in 2022 and also in 2021, it was very, very hard to get our hands on brand new equipment and even used equipment. So used equipment has doubled in the last 24 months. Sorry, in the last 12 months, used equipment has doubled. And also, it's a very hard to get parts for your truck. So what happens? Naturally, there's a lot of theft happening out there. And this theft is a direct correlation of our insurance premiums. You know, I've heard a lot of the times out there, we've had one of our trucks that somebody tried to steal. You know, it's great that we had the monitoring devices and we got the we, we got the truck and the trailer, but we did not get the driver that, that stole the truck. But our monitoring devices have helped us when it comes to cargo theft. So cargo theft is direct relation to why our insurance premiums are high, especially now when it's extremely hard to find used equipment, when it's hard to find new equipment and also part shortage. So people will steal trucks just for their parts. They know that they can chop up that truck literally within 24 to 48 hours and those parts will all be on the market the next day. So truck theft is on the rise and also cargo theft. Now let's talk a little bit about insurance premiums. So in the US, if I am an owner operator, I want to open up my own authorities I would like to get my insurance so I contact a broker and then that broker would get me approximately in the US you're paying for rates between 14 to eighteen thousand dollars and in Canada we're looking at about eighteen to twenty four thousand dollars yes that's eighteen to twenty four thousand dollars is what a new owner operator that wants to get insured is what he's gonna be paying in premium so when I I remember the, the rates used to be eight and nine thousand dollars back in two thousand six seven and eight so the insurance market it has really really ramped up and are charging through the roof and hopefully you learned something from this video on why the insurance premiums are so high now to wrap up this video I will talk about the two people that I use that I've used over the last 15 years they are unbelievable reps so if you are looking for insurance out there I've created a form here below you can fill it out it would go to these two people and then you can decide whoever you feel more comfortable working with so I'll introduce number one so first of all Cynthia Nagamatsu from Hargraft Schofield we've been working with her for about 12 years she is phenomenal so if you need any insurance whether it's in Canada or the US she'll be able to help you out and the second person that we deal with is Robert Potts from NFP has been able to help us out over the last three years um, I'll link his information also down below so if you are interested in insurance these are the people that I trust these are the people that I use feel free to give them a call or fill out this form below and have them give you a call so do you have anything to add do you have any other points that I've missed in this video please feel free to put the comments down below I am extremely responsive Responsive and who knows, maybe I'll make a video just on one of your points. So I'm Ronan, R-O-N-E-N, and hopefully I'll catch you in the next one.